Hello and welcome to Mantra and Movement, a weekly class on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern. My name is Susie Potter and I am a licensed mental health counselor and a dance movement therapist. Um, I've also completed my 200 hours for being a yoga teacher, so I also am a yogi. And so this class is a fusion of the practice of mantra, which comes from yoga, and a bit of intuitive movement influenced by the principles of dance movement therapy. And so I am the founder of a private practice called BodyWise Psychotherapy located in South Florida. And uh, this offering is just to give everyone a tool to help them connect to their truth, to their identity, and to their power. So let's do that today. So today's theme is going to be all about the throat chakra. And if you look at my previous classes, which you can find on my YouTube channel, BodyWise Psychotherapy, you'll see that each class, um, we've been working with each chakra. So, so far we've done the root, the sacral, the solar, the heart we did last week, and today we're doing the throat chakra. And the throat chakra is all about speaking our truth, being authentic, being vulnerable, but it's also about express, expressing our truth, expression, creativity, and what we create. Um, when we are speaking from the heart, can be a very powerful tool that can even create an impact on others. So today we're going to connect to that. We're going to connect to the power of our voice, which essentially this whole class is all about. So let us begin by just centering ourselves, get comfortable. Um, you will need a little bit of space to just move around. Um, and we will be reciting mantra and using our voice. So if you can find a way to um, be able to do that, that's great. And if you can't do that at all, then um, simply listen and you can use a lower voice or you can uh, recite in your mind. All right, let's get to it. So removing all distractions, getting nice and comfortable, and closing the eyes. We'll begin with some grounding. And just take a couple of breaths, inhaling through the nose. And sighing it out. <sighs> See if you can do just a natural, audible sigh. Let's try that a couple more times. Inhale through the nose. <sighs> and one more time. <sighs> Good. And we'll begin today's practice with three ohms. Inhale to prepare. Just keeping the eyes closed. 
tuning into your body. And bring your awareness to your throat. You may have noticed just now when you recited OM, but there's a vibration in your throat. What is sound? Sound is just a vibration that we create through the use of breath, pushing out air through our diaphragm, our lungs, and that air reaches the vocal cords. And as those vocal cords vibrate, they create sound. And we can form different sounds through the movements and positionings of our mouth, our lips, our tongue. And then we give those sounds meaning, so much meaning. Words are so powerful to the point that they trigger emotion. Such an array of emotions. Anything from inspiration to interest to deep wounding pain to immense love. Words are powerful. Take a deep breath. And just warming up the neck. Start to move your head side to side, bringing one ear to your shoulder and then switching over to the other side. Ear to shoulder, nice and easy. Just moving the neck and then see if you can bring the chin to the chest and start to move your head in a circle. Nice and easy. Breathe as you do so. And then rotate the other direction. Bring your head to stillness right in the center and start to roll the shoulders back. Loosening up the shoulder joints. And then see if you could bring the arms up above your head and then back into a big circle. Big circles with the arms. Warming up the chest, the heart chakra, as well as the throat chakra. And then rotate in the other direction. And bring your hands back to your lap. Great. And we'll transition into a sound and movement warm up. So we're just going to go through the chakras. And we're going to do the Bija Mantra for each chakra, which is basically just a single syllable root sound for each of the chakras. So just follow along. So we'll start with the root and work our way up to the crown. So the Bija mantra for the root is Lam, L-A-M, Lam, Lam. So we're going to chant 
lam three times. And it's going to be just like when we did the om, a nice deep breath and a nice long sound. And so let's close the eyes. And as we inhale, I invite you to lift the pelvic floor up within into your body. Lift the pelvic floor in. If you have to squeeze all the muscles of the buttocks and the genitals, you can do that. But we're just lifting the pelvic floor as we inhale. And as we exhale, we say lam and we release all the muscles. Okay, so let's try that. Inhale deeply through the nose, lift the pelvic floor. Lift, 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 hold the breath, hold the muscles. Exhale, la. Two more times, inhale, lift. Hold. Release. La. Inhale, lift. Hold. Release. La. Take a breath. Transitioning to the sacral chakra, start to move your belly button in a big circle. Move your belly button in a big circle, allowing the belly button to push forward and then draw back towards the spine. Nice big circle. We're going to inhale, and then we're going to say VAM, V-A-M. Inhale, VAM. Keep the movement going. Inhale. Va. Last one. Inhale. Va. Take a breath. Come back to center and moving up to the solar plexus, right underneath the chest, right at the, the mouth of the stomach. We're gonna push through that place in our stomach, push forward, arch the back like we're doing cat cow, and then draw that area in towards the spine. Curve the spine, chin to chin to chest. So it's cat-cow, but the movement originates at the solar plexus. Push the solar plexus out. Inhale. And exhale as you curve the spine. <sighs> Undulating like a wave through the spine, just like that. And so the Bija Mantra of the solar plexus is Ram, R-A-M. So we're going to inhale, push out. And then we're going to say Ram. Two more times. Inhale. Ram. 
last one inhale Ram. good come back to center neutral spine nice long spine take a breath And moving up into the heart. We're gonna open up the arms nice and wide. And then we're gonna bring our hands to our chest. And then open them up, inhale. Bring them into their chest. So as we bring the arms into our heart, we're gonna say the Bija Mantra for the heart chakra and that is I'm spacing right now yam y-a-m okay so inhale open the heart exhale yam two more inhale open Yeah. One more. Yeah. Take a breath. Feel your heart. And moving up into the throat chakra, the movement is going to be simply looking up, lengthening the front of the throat. Inhale. Exhale, bring the chin back down to a neutral position. So inhale up. Feeling that stretch in the front of the throat, in the front of the neck, and then bringing it down. As we bring our chin down, we're going to say HAM, the Bija Mantra for the throat. H-A-M, HAM. Here we go. Inhale, look up. HAM. Two more. Hum. Last one. Inhale, look up. Take a breath, feel your throat. And moving into the third eye and the crown chakra, we're gonna do that together. And the Bija Mantra is Om, just like we did at the beginning of class. And the movement is gonna simply be a head roll, moving our head in a circle. So you can do a small circle, small little circles, or big circles, whatever feels comfortable to you. Let us begin. Inhale. Oh. Keep going. Inhale. Oh. One more. Oh. 
Bring your head back to a neutral position. Relax the shoulders. Take a breath. And this time, feel your whole body from your sit bones to the top of the head. Feel your nice, long spine. Feel your core. Tune into the heart. And since today's theme is the throat chakra, we're just gonna chant the throat chakra Bija Mantra, Ham, 12 times. Let us begin, inhale. Ha. 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 Keep the eyes closed. Stay inward, stay in your experience. And I invite you to just visualize a blue, brilliant light shining in your throat chakra. Breathe with that light. And I invite you to reflect on what truth means to you. Blink the eyes open, maybe give yourself a smile. The deity associated with the throat chakra is Saraswati. And Saraswati is the goddess of expression, of truth and creativity. And if you notice in her paintings, she's playing an instrument so she rules music art 
expression. And there are many mantras associated with her. We're going to practice two of them today. The first one is an invocation to invite the energy of Saraswati into your presence. And it's um, said to help with intelligence and the power of speech. So if there's something that you need to say or something that involves speech in your life, this could be helpful for that. Um, so let us transition into that. So, the mantra itself is Om Shreem, S H R E E M, Shreem, Brihim. There's a B H R E E M. Don't worry too much about pronunciation, just say it in the best way you can. Shreem, Brihim, Saraswati, Namaha. So Om Shreem Prim Saraswati Namaha. Saraswati Namaha. Okay. So we'll begin by chanting this and then we'll move into a movement warm up. Follow along whenever you feel ready. Just jump in. Oh, Saraswati Mamaha. Saraswati Namaha Om Shri Saraswati Namaha Om Shreem Reem Saraswati Namaha Om Shreem Reem Saraswati Namaha Om Shreem Bhreem Saraswati Namaha Om Shreem Bhreem Saraswati Te Namaha. And I invite you to breathe, bring the arms above your head. Palms touch, bring it down to the heart. Start to sway your body side to side, reaching your arms. Reach to the left, reach to the right, reach, breathe. Bringing the arms up again, inhale. 
down to the heart. Remove any cushion underneath you. And transition into a tabletop position. Start to just wiggle the hips side to side. Naturally moving the spine. Find stillness, making sure that the knees are hip distance apart and the hands are hip distance apart. Open the fingers wide. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale down. Curve the spine. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. Bring the feet together, knees together. Sit back on your heels. Bring the hands in front of you. Start to rotate the wrists. Other direction. Close the eyes. And start to move your hands in a circle while rotating the wrists. You can slow it down. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Breathe. Start to rotate in the opposite direction. Saraswate Namaha. Two more times all the way around. Om Shrim Rim Saraswate Namaha. One more round. Om Shrim Rim Saraswate Namaha. Inhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart. Breathe. Stretch the feet out in front of you, the legs nice and straight in front of you. Shake them out, remove any flesh so you can get those sit bones nice and rooted into the earth. Wonderful. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale. This time bring them down to the throat. Right in front of the throat. Oh. 
Saraswati Namaha. Push the arms forward, keep the spine nice and straight. Re lean forward, take a breath, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders down. Exhale, curve down over the legs. Breathe. Inhale, arms come up. Bring them back down to the throat. Oh, shri. I've been meditating for a time. Saraswati Namaha. Good. Bring the arms forward. Once again, long straight spine. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Down. Curve over. Take a breath. Good. Wonderful. We're going to transition into a standing position. So if you need to push things out of the way, make some space where you are, now's the time. Same thing we did seated. Reach, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. The inhale, come up, straighten your legs. Exhale, sink into cactus pose, goddess pose, cactus arms. Breathe. Take deeper. Uh, arms come up. Close the feet. Bring the heart, hands to the heart. And take a moment here to sway the hips side to side. Close the eyes. Keep going. Beautiful. We're going to transition into the next mantra. The mantra of reaching your true identity. Satanam. Sat means truth. Nam means identity. So when we put it together, it means truth is my identity. Satnam. Satnam. 
So I invite you to start to move around your space. Just walk around your space. Notice your feet on the ground. Notice the space above you. Start to move your arms around the space. Really just getting comfortable moving in your own way, naturally. And then bring your awareness back to your body. And I invite you to move in whatever way feels comfortable to you. Listen to the music and just express yourself. Um, join in with the mantra whenever you're ready. Sa Nam. So you can continue moving on your own in whatever way you want, or you can start to follow along. We're going to take a wide stance. Start to move our hips side to side. And we're going to bring it down from below all the way up. Sway. So sat, we draw it in. Sa. Nam. Beautiful. Sway. Let's try it again. Yes. Bringing the feet together this time. Hands to the heart. Beautiful. So let's step it back. What's that? And we're now. Step it back. And offer it with Nam. Yes. Walk it forward again. Forward. Back. One, two, three, 
four, and yes, walk it forward, sway, hands on the heart, feel your heart, beautiful, do your own version, Yes. Let's try a different one. Right leg forward. Bring the arms up. Hands together to the heart. Numb. Shake the hips. Switch sides. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. Yeah. Turn, turn to the left, turn to the right, arms up, legs wide, numb, sway, sway, arms up, Right leg forward. Nice and slow. Bring it to the heart. Yes, switch sides. Left leg. To the heart with knob. Switch sides. Here we go. Beautiful. One more time on the left. Now feel the music. Do whatever feels right to you. Let go. Express your truth, your identity. seated position. Back to being seated. Wonderful. So if you have a cushion, if you need to drink some water, take a moment to reset. Come to a seated position. Wonderful. And we're going to finish with one more mantra. So 
So this next mantra is going to be a Saraswati mantra as well. And I'm going to teach you this mantra, which you can practice anytime. So bringing our awareness back to our body, stabilizing the breath. So we've done this mantra before in previous classes. We're going to do this today because it's relevant for the throat chakra. So we're going to start by being, bringing our awareness to our hands. Um, so if we turn our, our, yeah, turn our palms towards you, um, you're going to bring your thumb on your right hand, using your right hand, bring your thumb to your pointer, then your middle finger, pointer, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Just like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on your left hand, you're going to start with your pinky, ring, middle, and pointer. So we're going to go all the way across. Right hand, pointer, middle, ring, pinky, then left hand, pinky, ring, middle, pointer. Just like that. Now I'm going to teach you a syllable for each of the fingers. Trust me, it's not too hard. So on the right hand, we're going to say ara, A-R-A, ara, ara. Then we're going to say, middle finger, we're going to say fa, ara, fa, F-A, sa, S-A, na, ara, fa, sana. Just like that. Ara, fa, sana. And as we do the mantra, we are going to use our fingers. So try that. Ara, fa, sana. Then we transition into the left, and we're just going to say D, 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 D. With a D as in David. So all together, take a breath. It's Arafasana, D, 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 D. Arafasana, D, 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 D. Arafasana, D, 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 D. Okay. So now that you have the hang of it, let's focus. Let's take a breath. And this is a Saraswati mantra to help with concentration, expression, and truth. Take a nice big inhale to prepare. Arafasana di 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 di. 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 Bring it to a whisper. Arafasana di 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 di. Arafasana di 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 di. 
bring it to your mind just say the mantra in your mind And let the mantra slip away. Let the hand movements slip away. Stay inward and just be in your experience. And when you're ready, opening the eyes. And we'll finish with three ohms today. Inhale to prepare. Om. Om. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this, um, for watching the replay of this class. I invite you to join me live every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern um, on Google Meet. You just gotta register via either on Instagram, the link in my bio, or on my website, um, and you sign up for each class. And this class is a pay what you can, pay from the heart, type of class, um, the important thing is that you benefit from it and you learn something new. I invite you to practice any mantra that stood out to you throughout today's class during your week and see the power of mantra, the benefit of mantra for yourself. Thank you, I am Susie Potter of Bodywise Psychotherapy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'm also on Facebook. Take care of yourselves. Mwah. Goodbye.